Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at Taper. Um, to, to go to Taper, you can either type Taper or you can go from Transform inside Morph and you click Taper. Um, for a start, we will need geometry that we want to apply taper to. So what taper does is it um, deforms objects toward or away from an axis. Um, so basically, we will need an object, a geometry, or um, and an axis. Um, let's, for example, um, make a cylinder. Um, I will assign this cylinder to a geometry component in Grasshopper so say one geometry um, <coughs> so here we have our geometry connected to this so basically for taper there is like few inputs that we will be um, working with um, there are geometry, axis, start and end radius. Um, so this, uh, we, we will go to explain it in a few minutes. Uh, flat, infinite and rigid. Um, for geometry first, we have to uh, put input like the geometry that we'll be working on. The axis it will be, so it says um, the taper axis, um, which is the axis that will be used um, to deform the object. And here it says, um, Taper actually deforms objects towards or away from an axis. So you have these two options. Uh, to explain it better, we can just draw now um, an axis, basically. Like that. So th this is a curve. And we will set it as a geometry. Click reparameterize. Um, and we we'll put this in here. Now, this axis will be the tapering axis. Um, there's something that worth pointing out, which is um, this axis, I can move it to the center of my geometry. So, once I snap on the center like that, um, I still haven't put the other um, inputs. So, um, the start and end radius, it says like radius at start of taper axis and radius at the end of taper axis. Um, let's just put any parameter. So I'll put 50 and 20, 50 for a start, and 20 for the end. Um, if I've hidden these ones, it would be like that. Um, we can put this for 20 instead, and this one for 50. Like that. So that would work, but the other way around. Um, right, um, and the three the rest of the inputs are toggles so they are a boolean of yes or no uh, so we will have three boolean toggles um, I think there's something um, should be fine let's try and just to copy it and it's a quick error so I'll just try a toggle again and I will connect them each to its input. Um, I'll see what these toggles are going to change. Um, one thing we have worth mentioning is that when you have this curve in the center basically um, any deformation is going to be in relation to the curve in the center so if we move the curve actually from the center left we will see that um, the shape has been deformed away from the axis and here it says deforms objects towards or away from an axis. Um, this 
can be changed from so now it's deforming away from an axis this can be changed if I flipped these numbers like that so it will take it towards um, towards the uh, uh, axis um, if I put the first one is um, the flat option um, in, in the explanation it says if true um, then a one directional one dimensional taper is created so rather than uh, deforming um, the shape in two di dimensions uh, it will take only one axis one dimension um, so if I did this we'll see that deformation is not happening on this dimension on this axis it's just happening in this way and the other one is state the same as it was before so if we look from the top it's basically the same in this one if I go like that it will be deformed the other way um, in both directions um, for infinite in the explanation it says if true the deformation happens throughout the geometry even if the axis is shorter if false the deformation take place only the length of the axis so at the moment um, the length of the axis is actually exactly somehow um, roughly um, the length of the geometry itself so you won't notice any difference but um, if we are to reduce the length of the axis you realize that when infinite is on false basically the deformation doesn't apply um, it does actually apply only on the length um, projection like the length projecting the length of the axis um, if I put this to true um, it will be actually applied for the whole projected like on the whole geometry uh, like that um, and finally um, the rigid option which basically um, will not uh, deform uh, will not deform um, the shape but it will attract it towards the axis regardless um, so we have all these three toggles that you can use depending on what suits you um, that's about um, taper um, I hope it was helpful and thank you for your for listening